hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is where we serve sugar spice and everything nice first of all i want to take this opportunity and welcome all the newbies to my channel i really really appreciate you people and all of all my returning subscribers uh thank you so much for your continued support feel at home away from home and today we are going to discuss on gmos and i'm going to give you my two cents basically on the debate that has been going on in our country kenya based on genetic modified organism in short crops and animal feed so that is what basically we are going to talk of today so sit back relax and listen to my two cents welcome you see guys i still don't understand why we want to go the gene genetically modified organism way as in gmo way because our country is really blessed we have um good soils uh rainfall as much as we're saying we are trying to curb the drought drought issue i still don't understand why we should always uh go the generic way because you see this is something that is done in the laboratory why should we um feed on feeds that are made from the lab you know because i don't see the point because there are so many ways of us doing farming uh across the year like hydroponic vertical methods that usually are used by israelis and we can utilize the same methods that they do or traditional med farming methods for still to have um food throughout the year but going the laboratory way as for me as miss jackie it's not the <laughs> the solution for food because you see these things you see for it to become the way you want to multiply more, like to have plenty, what have you fed on it? Well, what have you fed on it in the lab for it to maybe be big or have so many effects of like growing? Um, I don't think this is the way to go for me. Honestly, it's not the way to go. I would think would stick to crop rotation, intercropping methods, and my water harvesting things rather than just using the lab to get our food done. Statistics have it. Nations that feed uh, their people and animals on GMOs of um, things, most of the countries have organic, I mean, not organic, chronic health issues. The high rates of diabetes, the high rates of high blood pressure, the high rates of um, cancer, the high rates of those those uh chronic diseases so for me as jackie i i think we should stick to organic food the old way the traditional way letting the farm set giving even the farm seasons and uh, <laughs> and we also need to always have a plan like the way the early days meteorological places used to give updates so that a farmer can be able to plan themselves on when to farm, on when to store, and all that, so that during the entire year, or the entire year in our country, we can always have food on our granaries. But going for the GMO method, for me, it's a no, it's a no. And for organic farming, organic feeds, we eat original things, we curb chronic diseases towards ourselves. Because, first of all, we need to take care of our health, before anything else there's no need of having multiplication of of things from the lab so yeah that's all for today that's my two cents for gmos is a no for me in kenya so god bless you please subscribe share and like bye bye i've been hungover since the weekend last night my fake id got stolen I dropped my phone, cracked the screen Roommate just smoked all my weed My life's a mess, I didn't notice Whenever bad shit happens Doesn't bother me at all, no I'ma do it how I want, so Don't feel no fear Living young and reckless I don't really give a fuck, no I just turn the music up so I can hear Dancing like
离开。